Hey, this is Chase, and in this video, I really want to cover um, kind of a popular topic these days, the uh, the process of making a cover page for your fan page on Facebook. Okay, so uh, a good friend of mine, Sherry, had a little problem with the font, and I think that happens just because some of the ways PCs handle fonts, I'm not exactly sure, but she wasn't happy with it. Um, wasn't as sharp as she would like and so what I thought I'd do is try to uh, recreate it and do hopefully a better you know a really good job so um, and I want to begin show showing um, what's going to be potentially uh, really awesome in the near future using Keynote Apple is uh, going to allow this to be a web based program so if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you probably have an iCloud account, and you probably have a username. And right now I get access to a beta version of Keynote, which is a really, really nice program. So um, we'll see what happens. They're going to announce it in September sometime this month, and so we'll I'll do more training on it. But I really like Keynote, so let's go ahead and launch that. And I would like to create a new document so it has a lot of different options here on how to do stuff but I just want to create a new presentation and I want the background to be um, actually the image but we'll just do white and choose white okay so um, I went a little bit large I'm gonna just keep the uh, background right in this area okay so oh, that's perfect okay let me see here all right, so uh, let me bring this in so you can see exactly what's going on. So you're going to have this uh, space. Now, um, we're going to reuse the image or put in a different image. A lot of times you can double-click stuff. And uh, actually on this right-hand side, I need to make this smaller. Let me do that. Okay, I'm going to scrunch things in so we can see that. And what we want to do, um, there are some options here which are really cool. Uh, but we don't really want any of these options. Uh, we don't want a border and stuff like that. So let me see what I can do as far as deleting that. Okay, and we'll delete the text. You just, it's really nice to just highlight it, click on it once, and then hit the delete key. Highlight it and hit the delete key. Now I have a, a blank image. Now what I also have is a iStock photo that I took or that I downloaded a while ago and let me look at it this way because um, a lot of times it'll tell me the dimensions so this is plenty large and I probably let me scrunch this up again so we can get it all in the window um, the this is the the Mac view of uh, a file so uh, one thing that I learned that a uh, Facebook cover image is 851 pixels by 315 and you know that's really easy to, to determine uh, let me go back I'll just move this off slightly and open up a new tab you can do a quick you know if you forget the dimensions just go Facebook cover page um, actually cover image or photo size okay and right there, 851 pixels by 315. Okay, so that's what we want to remember. So a lot of times when you download an image, you're going to want, you know, maybe on an iStock photo or any other places, you want an image at least that big. That's 850 pixels across and 350, 315 pixels tall. Okay, so let me bring back our little uh, keynote page. Okay, so what I have is this image and this is too small okay it's a little too small but we can take the large resolution which I downloaded which is 27 that's plenty big okay so what I'm gonna do is see if I can just drag that from my computer onto the web based program okay of keynote it's too large okay that's interesting all right so uh, we can reduce the size, but I'll just try the other one. Even though it was slightly smaller, okay, of 847, it's only uh, four pixels too small. 
okay, for the width. So I'll just drag that right onto there and, and uh, move that out of the way. So there's our image, and technically it's it's four pixels too small small and so to it's not wide enough so let's see what we got oh look at that okay this is fantastic so what I can do is bump it up just enough okay now it's 570 that's that's plenty tall we only need 315 so then you can just position the image wherever you want okay and now I want to put on some text Actually, what Sherry showed, uh, again, let me just move that out of the way. She wanted the word, the science of wealth, kind of right above the word wealth, right above that wave. So let's see what it can do here. And you can do this as well. So right here is a text object, okay? And we get text, text, text. Let's just do, not sure, these are borders. Let's do text. Okay, caption. All right, this is the first time I've ever played with this too. So let's just try. Oh, you know what? Here they are. I didn't see them. Let's delete that one. Delete that one, and and we'll use this one. So, and I'll just type in there. And the science of wealth. Dot dot dot. Now we could make it uh, bolder and stuff like that. Now I'll click down here out away from the picture and, uh, and such and let's just move that down again. Remember the picture is wide enough. Okay, it's 851 pixels. Just a little tall. So let's come down and move that kind of the way she wanted it. Kind of right there. I like, I like that. Now let's see what we can do for color. It'd be great if we could get the color okay there's a black and so that's what it is and so um, doesn't look like they offer an option of picking a color that's in the picture sometimes they offer that but this isn't a bad color okay and let's see if we can no there's probably no other way to modify it we could go a little bit darker okay that's not too bad and bold it okay that's actually pretty darn good and the only other thing is we might look at different uh, fonts okay Helvetica <sighs> you know let's see here that's kinda interesting so um, and they give you a lot of different okay I kinda like that okay now also the size of it we can look at the size and notice every time I want to select the text or do something I need to click in there and then I do a triple click and it generally selects it all and let's change that to a little bit larger okay that off. now if you want to move it click away and then click once and then you can drag it around okay and that's looking pretty good now I don't see um, any ways to export actually I do share Okay, it can create other documents. It's not going to export the image like I wanted, but that's okay. Um, we can still use another tool of Jing to do that. Let's see what Tools does. Okay, there's some nice guides. That's cool. Uh, check spelling, all that good stuff. Okay, that's fine. And this is still in beta, and we're able. I'm able to use it for free, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't think it'll be that expensive at all. So what I'm going to use is a tool called Jing to take a screenshot. Now we know the edge of the dim of the image is 851. That's the width. So all I need to do is get that yellow line right on the edge, and then drag across and come down and see my yellow. It's 850. So if I go one more, there's 851. Okay, I've got the width right down here at 851. I need 315. Well, I would like more down, so I can drag the whole thing down. And I love the bubbles and what's going on here. Let's add a little more by dragging down here and see how I got 315 in that yellow number just by dragging the lower bar. Okay. On the left side is my 851 by 315. It's got some nice color. It's going to be a sharp image because the text is really nice and it's got this 
beautiful graphic of this water. You could even bring it down a little bit more. I'm, I'm playing with the box here. And I think that's going to be really pretty good. Because Sherry's uh, face and picture, her profile picture will appear right here. So I'd like to move that. I'm going to come down a little bit lower. I'm just watching the edges of that photo. And, and that looks really quite nice. Okay. Then what I'll do is take a screenshot of that. And now <clears throat> I have a um, picture, a screenshot of this based on what I did in Keynote. And here it is in Jing, and guess what? It looks really sharp because it's a screenshot. And I think the font is handled really well here. Um, if you're using a Mac, you can use this, and you have an iCloud account, you can use this probably right now. But down the road, uh, PCs will be able to use this as well. If you have an iCloud account, which is like if you have an iPhone or an iPad or something like that. So all I have to do is save that to my hard drive. And now I have Sherry's little, um, so I'll just type Sherry's uh, cover. Okay. And I have a little folder. I just save it to Facebook Images. And I can email that to her. And now she doesn't have to fiddle with it. But I've also trained, or hopefully trained, a lot of people on how to do that. So hope you uh, got some good value from this. And hope that Keynote is available for you um, in the near future and uh, let's see I wonder how to get back let's see I'm probably gonna save it but um, uh, be back it's probably gonna be saved let's just go down and go into iCloud and there it is right there it's actually saved it for me on the fly which is really cool so there you go um, hopefully that will encourage you to maybe give that a try or you can use Microsoft PowerPoint if you own that or you can use Google Drive for free so don't fret if you don't have an iCloud account or whatever so you can just be creative and figure it out in any number of ways this is Chase Swift have a great day